Yamaha G1 transaxle, rear axle, diff, whatever you want to call it. How to make it solid. Now, just so we're on the same page, this is a two-stroke Yamaha carts with the clamshell. Every year that's a two-stroke with the clamshell, it's the same rear end. So right now, it's an open differential. I got four bolts off of here. If I got to explain how to do all that to get to this step, you probably shouldn't be messing with your differential. But axle's out, oil's out, we split the case. Secondary off. Four bolts, your ring gear comes off. Okay. Your axles, they just ride in these. If I spin this top one, the bottom one, don't make me a liar, goes the other way. It's open. To make it a solid, you're going to take one gear on the same opposite side, flip them. Pull this guy out, make it easier. Drop that in there. Then you come over here, pull this one using a rag because they're slippery. Drop it back in. So you got two down low touching, two up high touching. Now when you drop your gear in there, what's going to happen is this cannot rotate because these two are holding it. The bottom one cannot rotate because these are holding it. Obviously it plays around. It's got wiggle room, but... Once you put your ring back on, make sure I got my spacers in the right, my uh, dowels in the right spot. I'm missing one, I'll find it. Once you put this guy back on, it'll slide on there. Oh, am I upside down? I am upside down. That's why. There's a dowel. Once you put this back on, Get everything centered back up. There you go. Now you have a locked differential. If I spin it on its side, put my finger in there, this axle gear cannot spin, nor can this one. Now you put it back together, you got a solid rear end, no welding, no fabricating, nothing.